Hello and welcome to this pit stop for Agents of Venice, an expansion for the Voyages of Marco Polo, designed by Daniele Tashini, Simone Luciani, published by Z-Man Gaines and Hams in Gluck. The Voyages of Marco Polo adds the capability to have a fifth player playing in purple, some metro contracts which go in the normal pile and they'll have quite high points values for quite a lot of goods. Some extra small town bonuses which go on, which are required because the first of the two modules in here is the Venice board, which looks like that. And players can place a die down here. It works the same way as the favor of the Khan. It must be equal to or more than the dice to the left of it. And that allows them to put one of their trading houses in here, starting in the main palazzo where there'll be two uh, big city cards. And then moving out from there, you must create a chain and you must go from space to space. You can't leap over, for example. And there are spaces for the small cities and for the large cities, and there are some costs for going around there. Now there means there are four extra trading houses for each player, and it's even harder to get down to the bonuses for placing your penultimate and final one. There are extra city cards that's gonna allow you to trigger uh, another city where you have a trading house, even if someone else has already gone there, uh, choose from a load of contracts, get some extra camels and money, or get some money and choose a companion. Now, companions is the second module that comes with this. There's nine of them. Six become available at the beginning of each round, and you may take actions to claim them because on the pile, that's what that action is for right there. And what do they do? Now, the gondolier here is gonna help you by placing one of your trading houses anywhere in Venice. The money lender lets you constantly go here. It empties every time you use it and you get eight money every time you go here. And once per round, you can spend a good to get five money. The scribe is gonna allow you to fulfill your contracts with one fewer good and get you three extra points. The diplomat lets you use the city power as if you were in a city without having your trading house there. The bodyguard lets you pay two per space to move along rather than the usual travel costs. Down here, when you use the tradesman, when you go into the market in the two or three dice space, you use one die fewer. You pay the normal cost, but it activates as if it had two more on there. The cartographer reduces camel and money amounts that you need to pay for moving across the main board, not when you're moving in Venice. The nun lets you move your dice up and down one or two, and the Saracen lets you swap camels and money interchangeably. The other bits and bobs we've got are new characters you can be. So, Papa Gregorio X, the Pope, gets to take one companion right at the beginning before anyone else has a go. Bellella, Fantina and Moretta get to draw five of the unused characters and at the beginning of each round, they turn over one of them of their choice and that's their power for this round. And there's some complicated interactions in there, but they're all explained. Pietro Tartarino starts in an oasis outside of Venice who's got one move for free and also once per round he may take all the dice off one spot and then place there so it costs him less. From Rastacchiano, he has a deck of cards like this and he draws six at the beginning of the game and he can use them whenever he wants to and they do things like being able to spend 15 money to immediately place a trading house in Beijing or Sumatra. He can take extra contracts and camels. He can do the same thing as Pedro here and remove a die. He can, on one move, spend three camels every time he goes through a city and drop a trading house in there. He can choose a companion. Uh, he can swap out city cards, choose them from the deck and so on and so forth. He's gonna get a mix of them each game. And the last one is Donata Badoa, and she's similar to Matteo Polo, but she gets, rather than a white dice, these tokens and she spends one of those per round as an extra die. The final thing available are a few extra bonus scoring root cards that are gonna mix it up a little bit. And that is everything that's included in The Agents of Venice, the expansion of the Voyages of Marco Polo. This has been a Game Pit Pit Stop. For more videos like this, check out the Game Pit channel on YouTube. And for more in-depth coverage of gaming, please find the Game Pit Podcast. Thank you.